He, I don't know what him and Cat. I don't think they'll ever be back cool, man. I even try to get him and Cat to be cool. You know what I mean? But you know, do some things go too far and they, and they <laughs> become something that's unbridgeable? I don't think. I, I think. I think as long as you living on this earth, you can make a change. You could. You could change anything. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Looking up like damn. You know, if I hang out with you for 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I meet you, I'm a thousandaire, you, you worth 10 million. If I look up 15 years later, nigga, you worth 220 million and I'm still a thousandaire, nigga, you not stopping me, you blocking me, nigga. Wow. That's a block. If my friends become your friends, your friends is your friends, my friends are no longer my friends, nigga, you sabotaging yep. me. Nigga, you the devil. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now, you know, so and so that's the type of stuff they do. They always say your enemies to keep you close, not because they love you, because they're waiting the right time to destroy you. Wow. You got to be careful. I got I got to go back to Shannon Sharp because a lot of, I, I seen Eddie Griffin, and I know you've seen it, Eddie Griffin and Mike Epps, uh, when, and it, you know, they got over it, but there is, is Shannon Sharp off limits doing the show, talking to comedians, can he, when people come at him, uh, is is he got a right to get mad, or is it a thing where he got to be he got to charge it to the fact of dealing with the comedians now, mm -hmm. or um, because when they came at him, he had you know he, he he didn't he didn't like it at all for sure. Yeah. But at the end of the day, is this something? Is he off limits? Is what I'm asking. Is who off limits? Shannon Sharp. The off limit for what? When like the comedians start making jokes about him, far as you know well, on yeah. their sets. Yeah. Well, you know. Everybody gonna get made fun of, especially if you hot. I don't give a fuck what you is. Yeah, if they were coming at him for if, if you hot, you gonna be a target. I don't give a fuck if your mother Teresa. You know what I mean? They gonna come after what's up. Oh, you got the hardest, hard, hottest because, show out. Yeah, so the new the new name of the game is if I could take your name and throw it under the dirt, I'm finna get 20 million followers. So I try to stay nameless. And throwing people under the bus. Under the bus. So I don't want to say their name to get my point across. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's just, and that's, 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 like what Cat Williams did, that was raw gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, See, I said, I, I did, I, I called Faze on when it happened. I said, man, your name been mentioned two times. He fell back asleep. <laughs> you know how he is. I said, I woke him up. Gotta say, nigga, they, your name mm -hmm. keep coming up on, yeah. on this interview. Yeah. And he finally watched it. But, you know, at the end of the day, he, I don't know what, him and Cat, I don't think they'll ever be back cool, man. I even try to get him and Cat to be cool, you know what I mean? But, you know. Do some things go too far and they, and they <laughs> become something that's unbridgeable? I don't think, I, I think, I think as long as you live on this earth. You can make a change. You could you could change anything. You know what I mean? You just change. I mean, look at me, man. I change. So you could change, you know what I mean? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I, the, I love peace. Mm -hmm. it's greatest riches God ever gave me was peace. I tell my wife every day, only thing I love more than you is peace. You know what I mean? And if the peace, when the peace go, I'm following the peace. You know what I mean? I don't bring you know. I bring you peace. Bring me peace. I don't want to come home. Give me peace. I give you peace because that's why I don't cheat. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You can't be in your fifties and if you 50 years old and you ain't married. You know what you are? You one of two things. You even a, you even a, uh, you, if you 50 years old and you ain't, and you ain't married, you know what you are? You even a, a, a trick or a spiritual advisor. <laughs> Dude, crap. A trick or a spiritual advisor. I get it, man. But you, you ran away from my question. What's, What's that? What's Shannon off limits? Should they should comedians not speak on him or he? But you did you did answer. You, you know, said they, they will speak. They you say they gonna talk about you what he talking said. and you getting the information. They looking at you. So now you laughing yeah, like I be doing. Whether they laughing, whether you laughing or not, they looking at you, nigga. And now they're studying you. If you don't want nobody to talk about you, get off camera. Get off. <laughs> People gonna say what they want to say. Some are gonna love you, some are gonna like you. But I, my advice is don't read the comments. 
the comments is the devil is what uh, Say Cheese Sean Cotton told me on Yeah, that show. comments, He man. said he ain't read them in five years. You better not read them. <laughs> <laughs> they serious, ain't they? Hell, hell yeah. They tell your ass <laughs> up. Say, let me, let me ask you, man. Yeah, like, I, read the comment, I read some comments on me one time. I went and tracked the nigga down. You found him? Hell yeah. Slap the shit out <laughs> of him. <laughs> Say, that's real. I, I, the nigga was talking like he was a raw nigga. A nigga raw. I came out I, he was talking some shit that was so raw. You went to his IG? Nigga, I tracked that nigga down, sick the bitch on him. Then the nigga <laughs> bark. Nigga, I, nigga got the nigga address. I rolled up on that nigga, man. That nigga was about four, three. <laughs> I, I don't even need both hands for that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Slap that nigga clean across the street, bitch ass nigga. Say, man, wait a minute. Oh, microphone game grabbed. I was mad about that nigga lucky. I said, oh. Say, wait a minute. I'm, I'm mad enough he went big enough for me to kill his bitch ass. I sure they be talking to comments that make you go off on them. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this. They be saying it for a reaction. That's all I read them, son. He said the fuck they want to say about Let me ask you this, man. Um, Cat Williams. He went in pretty good on Ricky Smiley. Yeah. Was, I didn't even know so, about the Friday situation. I don't even be knowing this stuff is even an issue, bro. Yeah. But then I could understand he sat back and he waited all that time and he just was, I guess, watching what everybody's saying and, his, and get his opinion. Yeah. And probably like, was that a calculated interview? Because that thing is more watched than any other interview Man, on the internet. Cat the Williams, is, he don't have, Cat is calculated. So any interview he do going to be calculated. His mind, like I got a gift. My gift is I could put what I feel into words. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat got the same gift. It's just at another level. You know what I'm saying? And he paint a beautiful picture, and he can make you see what he feel and what he think. You know what I'm saying? So he's a he he's a um, he really a preacher, a prophet. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.